the fourth question. I'll mark this. Let's read what is given here. A thin cylindrical shell is 1 meter in diameter and 2.5 meter length is subjected to uniform fluid pressure of 5 Newton per mm square. Full stop. Find circumferential strain, longitudinal strain, volumetric strain and change in volume if thickness of the shell is 20 mm. Full stop. Take capital E is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square and mu as 0 0.25. So this is the question which we have in front of us. Whatever is given in this question, we will write this in data. Here it is given that we have a thin cylindrical shell. So I will draw the diagram. having internal fluid at pressure so here we have thin cylindrical shell is 1 meter in diameter small d is equal to 1 meter 1000 mm next 2.5 meter length so the length of the cylinder is given Two point five into ten raised to three mm is subjected to uniform fluid pressure small p five newton per mm square. Find circumferential strain. The first question. Circumferential strain is also called as hoop strain. Next, longitudinal strain. Then, volumetric strain. And at last, change in volume. If Thickness of shell is 20 mm, small t is given, the thickness of this shell. And then capital E and mu value they are given in this question. So now, whatever is there in the form of data, let us try to get the solution for this problem. I will say that in the solution part, first I will write down since hoop stress is given by Sigma suffix H is equal to PD upon 2T. Therefore, Sigma suffix H is equal to internal pressure is given as 5 Newton per mm square. The internal diameter is 1000 mm. Thickness is 20. So, from this, I will be getting hoop stress value as 1250 newton per m square because whenever they tell you to calculate hoop strain or longitudinal strain first get the value of hoop stress and longitudinal stress after this i'll say that also longitudinal stress is given by pd upon 40 or in other words Longitudinal stress can directly be taken as half of hoop stress. So therefore, longitudinal stress will be equal to, I can say that P is 5 and diameter was 1000, 4 into 20. So this value comes out to be 625 Newton per m. So here I have hoop stress and longitudinal stress. So I can go for the calculation of hoop strain first. Since hoop strain is given by sigma suffix h, hoop strain I will denote it by E suffix h is equal to hoop stress upon Young's modulus minus mu into longitudinal stress upon Young's modulus. So, therefore, hoop strain will be equal to 1 upon E, E is given as. 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. Hoop stress 1250 minus mu is 0 0.25. Longitudinal stress is 625. So if I calculate the value here, I will be getting hoop strain as the answer which I have calculated. It is 5.47 into 10 raised to minus 4. And since it is strain, it won't have a unit. First answer. Second is longitudinal strain.
तो लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेन इज गिवेन बाय देर फॉर ई सफिक्स एल इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन यंग्स मॉड्यूल इज टू हंड्रेड इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेस इट वॉज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस म्यू इज पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू हुप स्ट्रेस वन टू फाइव जीरो सो फ्रॉम दिस आई विल बी गेटिंग लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेन एज वन पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस फोर दैट इज माई सेकेंड आंसर नेक्स्ट आफ्टर गेटिंग लॉन्जिट्यूडिनल स्ट्रेन द क्वेश्चन इज वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन सो आई सी दैट सिंस वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन इज गिवेन बाय the formula of volumetric strain it is equal to longitudinal strain plus twice into hoop strain therefore longitudinal strain i have an equation answer number 2 that is 1.56 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus 2 into hoop strain from answer 1 5.47 into 10 raised to minus 4 therefore volumetric strain comes out to be 1.25 पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस थ्री दैट इज माई थर्ड आंसर एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच दे आर आस्किंग इज टू कैलकुलेट चेंज इन वॉल्यूम सो वंस आई हैव वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन आई कैन से दैट ऑल्सो वॉल्यूमेट्रिक स्ट्रेन इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन वॉल्यूम अपॉन ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम एंड दैट ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम वी कैन गेट इट एज द ओरिजिनल वॉल्यूम वुड बी वी इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय फोर d square into l here d is 1000 l is 2.5 into 10 raise to 3 mm so here i can write this as therefore change in volume will be equal to volumetric strain into volume which is equal to 1.25 into 10 raise to minus 3 volume is pi by 4 into diameter is given as 1000 length is 2.5 into 10 raise to 3 so it is pi by 4 d square into l so from this the change in volume which i get the answer comes out to be 2.45 into 10 raised to 6 mm cube my fourth answer so if we look into this question they were telling us to calculate hoop strain the answer is 5.47 10 raised to minus 4 second question was longitudinal strain and the answer is 1.56 ten raised to minus 4 next volumetric strain the answer is 1.25 ten raised to minus 3 at last change in volume and that is 2.45 ten raised to 6 mm cube with this we have solved all the questions which they have given and here the problem number 4 gets completed